In this video, I will show you how to make clay beads uniform by describing how to make a cane out of polymer clay. Polymer clay is found in most craft stores and comes in a variety of colors. A cane is a, long, a log or a cylinder of clay that has a design running through it, so each slice of the cane or cross section contains the design. Canes can be made quite easily if you'll just start from the beginning. The cane we will demonstrate is a basic cane. If you take your time and try these steps, you'll find that you can master simple patterns. When you combine the simple patterns together, you can make more complex projects. The tools required for making canes are a large work surface that can be used with an X-Acto knife and a large blade for cutting. Although polymer clay can be rolled with a rolling pin, for smaller projects, a pasta machine is your best choice for uniform sheets of clay. So let's get started. First, you take a ball of clay, roll it around in your hands to get the clay nice and warm. Then, place the clay on the table, take your hand and gently roll the clay into a cylinder. I usually make my cylinders about two inches long. Take the X-Acto knife and cut the clay to the length you would like for your finished cane. My cane will have seven clay cylinders, three yellow cylinders, and three pink cylinders, these are the petals, and blue for the center. I will begin assembling the cane with the centerpiece, which is the blue. Take a pink cylinder and press it against the blue. Don't press too hard. If you do, it will squish the clay. Now take a yellow cylinder and place it right beside the pink cylinder. Gently press it against the blue. Continue around the blue, alternating colors, like this. Keep pressing gently as you go around the blue cylinder. As you see, I now have the shape of a flower. Once the colors are together, place it on the table and gently roll it out. This will attach all the pieces together. I roll for about a minute until I feel the cylinders are connected together. You may find that all your cylinders do not align perfectly at the ends. To make the ends even, take a long blade and at the edge, chop off the uneven pieces. Repeat for the other side. I like to cover the outside of my canes. It gives it a finished, complete look, like what you see on this finished cane. To finish the outside, take a piece of clay and roll it through a pasta machine. I like mine to be very thin, but you may make it as thick as you like. Lay the clay down flat on your working area. Place the cane in the center of the flat clay. Try to get it even on each side. Take the blade and cut on each end. Place the blade directly next to the cane and slice down. Then remove the excess clay. Repeat for the other side. Also repeat for the end to make it even. Pull it up to make sure the clay didn't stick. Slowly roll the cane and press the clay down as you roll. 
When you get back to where the clay started, take the blade and try to cut as close to the beginning of the clay as possible. You now have the cane covered. I like to roll the cane to be sure the outside sheath is stuck to the cane. Trim the ends like you did earlier so the ends are even. Once you have the uneven pieces trimmed off, you are ready to cut the individual beads. You may cut the cane as thick or as thin as you like. I like to cut my canes about a fourth of an inch thick. In order to string the beads, take a paper clip, unfold it, and stick it through the clay in the center of the cane, moving evenly through the cane. This will make the hole for stringing the thread, like this. Turn the paper clip around once or twice so you have a nice hole. Then remove the paper clip. Once you have made the holes in the beads, you're ready to bake. Bake in an oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on the thickness of the clay, you will need to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. For additional instructions, follow the directions that come with the clay. Now that you have made a basic cane, combine these basic steps to make butterflies and flags and many other interesting designs. Really, you're only limited by your imagination.